Uh, hey guys, it's uh, uh, Mega Bambit here. I changed my channel name from uh, King Shadow John uh, to Mega Mabit uh, just uh, recently because of uh, uh, that was the name my friend came up with, but I don't really make videos with him anymore. So, and the channel was always mine anyway. So I went ahead and changed the name. He doesn't really mind it, and he said he's gonna start up his own thing too, anyways. But uh, I just wanted to make this video about uh, Halo 3, Crow's Nest, just kind of give me an opportunity to talk about uh, my channel, Halo, Sorry especially Halo time. Infinite, and uh, what I expect from it or what I hope from it and whatnot. Uh, also, I'll be making some comparisons most likely, but uh, as you saw earlier, this is Crow's Nest on Legendary. And basically, the entire time, all I'm using is the assault rifle. Uh, of course, a few grenades, and I do use uh, the turret whenever it's available, uh, just because it makes things easier. But the reason why I use the assault rifle on this map, or on this level, I guess, uh, specifically on this level, is because uh, the fact that I can use the assault rifle and only the assault rifle make it pretty much through the entire entire uh, map is a uh, is a uh, pretty it, it's pretty fun it I really like the level design uh, or basically the difficulty design in Halo 3 because the enemies aren't so overwhelming like in Halo 2 where they kill you in three hits or they'll just you know you just get hit once they'll punch you once and then you die instantly but no, you can get up really uh, up close and personal with uh, with the enemies in Halo 3. And just as long as you're skilled enough, you can still win. And the fact about that, that fact alone makes me just really like Halo 3. I know I'm mumbling a lot and saying, uh, and whatever. This is pretty much just kind of an off script sort of thing that I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I'm just making one take and just going along with it. Uh, just so, and, uh, well. I only have a handful of ships. But, uh, before I get into more details about, uh, this map, I first kind of want to talk about my, uh, I guess my schedule. So, basically, I joined the Army National Guard, and in a few weeks, I'll be going off to basic training, and I'll be in basic training for, like, ten weeks, and then I have to go to, uh, uh my MOS training. I'm going to be a combat medic. But, uh, uh, you know, 10 weeks or uh, possibly even six months, I may not be posting anything. And in all honesty, uh, it will not really, that won't really mean anything because uh, those periods of time, uh, I pretty much spend those periods of time uh, on a regular basis not posting anything. But before I go, I do want to get a few videos out, uh, at least something, maybe some kind of gameplay or something. Or uh, other videos like that. Or, you know, just some random stuff, maybe. <sighs> but, uh... Order, we're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel Wounded. Code alpha we're getting all of them out. Yeah, that's basically it. Ma'am, squad and, uh, leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? Yeah, I have about three weeks, so I'm just gonna... To uh, make as many videos as possible. But since the gameplay here is starting, I'll just go ahead and start commenting over it. We just lost the Motion trackers? Or I guess it's just still more dialogue and whatever. I know I'm... Maybe I should have started my audio recording here at this point. So that way, uh, you know, you guys can watch the cutscene. But whatever. This res really isn't a... Uh, a uh, yeah. Story based. I'm not really doing a gameplay over it. Uh, it's, it's literally just Crow's Nest, the level. Eventually, I'm gonna finish Halo 5. I don't know, maybe next year. <laughs> maybe next year I'll post another video. Or may maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'll move on to something else. Uh, I know, not too many people watch my channel. Uh, I get like very little views. 15 at a time, maybe? I appreciate those views at least. But, uh, 
Where I like at the most, maybe I'll get like 15 or 10 views. Oh well. But uh, yeah, I know that YouTube takes a lot of dedication and time you need to put into it. And uh, sometimes I just kind of don't have that. Or I, I guess uh, technically I could fit this into my schedule, I'm sure. But I guess I just generally don't have the motivation to. I am overwhelmed sometimes, or for the most part, by uh, whatever I have to do, whether it be school or uh, church or whatever. But uh, right now, I'm on a break from college, uh, my uh, winter break. And uh, so, you know, I'm not doing anything. This is the first time I'm not doing anything for like a really long time. Uh, it's uh, been rough through high school and through my summer break and everything like that. I got my first job and that was cool. But then it ended, the, the, the term ended. It was an internship with uh, Senator Ted Cruz and uh, just uh, did that for a while but then as soon as his campaign was over uh, you know it ended yeah I use a lot of grenades here not 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 too much the assault rifle but uh, <laughs> I'm surprised I'm just able to uh, uh, yeah I, I made this one first time through this part right here I made the first two sections first time through, but then like the next two, well the next part gives me a little bit of trouble, and then the the part with all the brutes in the uh, in the uh, when they're where they're keeping the marines hostage, I had a lot of trouble with that. I died like I don't know several several times, but uh, so. Yeah, I've just been kind of busy, and uh, not not really uh, having the motivation to uh, fit YouTube within my schedule, even though it's something I really want to do. Uh, I guess it's just supposed to be more of a hobby, but uh, you know, I'm I just want to do a little bit of it before I go off to boot camp. So in this next part of the gameplay, I'm just sweeping off the, uh, I guess they called it the deck or whatever. But I definitely hop on the turret, uh, just because it makes things a whole lot easier. The phantoms that come in, the little turrets that they have on the bottoms, they kill you in like two, three hits. So that really sucks. So I hop on the turret and shoot them off before, yeah, look at that. Yeah. That'll probably kill me in one more hit if I let it. But uh, this this really isn't too much of a walkthrough. It's just me kind of demonstrating uh, the gameplay of Halo 3. And I just, it's really fun. Halo 3 on Legendary is my favorite uh, Halo on Legendary. Yeah, I, I'd say it's... I don't know if it is better than Combat Evolved. I haven't played Combat Evolved in a while. But uh, Halo 3, sometimes I'll still just get on and play a random a random level. Uh, just because it's generally fun. It can be fair. Sometimes it's not fair, though. Especially There's, there's a few unfair aspects about uh, Halo 3, like the ghosts or the phantom turrets or even the spikers. Now, now those three things kill you pretty quickly, and I, and you know, I'm sure there are other things that kill you pretty quickly, but uh, those, but those three main things kind of uh, can make some parts of the campaign extremely challenging, especially this part. But this turret over here in the corner uh, just gives you a ton of cover, and uh, you know you just shoot at the phantom turret, uh, destroy it. And then as the guys are coming down, you just keep shooting them. And as long as they don't get too close to you, they won't take shots at you. So uh, you're pretty much safe here. And uh, But yeah, I, I clear this hangar in uh, one go. I'm surprised. But uh, first time around, it gave me a ton of trouble. But uh, I was able to clear the first part and this part in one go, surprisingly. So that was 
pretty cool. And yeah, but these guys, uh, for whatever reason, they they didn't want to die, or they didn't, they just hid down there, so I had to jump down there. I thought it was just two jackals. I just saw the two jackals, and then this brute comes out of nowhere. Luckily, he doesn't kill me. Uh, I was able to think fast. I go down there eventually. But uh, and also, I also wanted to uh, take this opportunity just to talk about Halo Infinite. Uh, I'm not too hyped about it. I wish I could be, but you know, it's not like they've sh shown any gameplay of it or anything like that. They've just mainly talked about it. What's gonna be in there? Possibly. Sp I mean, well, yeah, they're they're gonna put split screen in there. They're gonna. Uh, what else? What else do they say? More Master Chief. Um, uh, I'm not so sure that I would like Halo, and, you know, these are, uh, people who speculate, like, the Halo follower or Hidden Experience, they talk about Halo Infinite possibly being open world, I'm not sure if I would actually like that, uh, I would probably just much rather have Halo, uh, stay like this, just have, you know, better gameplay, better story, and make it longer, too, because, you know, the past few uh, campaigns haven't been too long. Not even Halo 3's campaign uh, feels that long. Even on Legendary, it feels relatively short. Yeah, to me. <sighs> I'm tired, but uh, it feels relatively short. And yeah, if they could just put some more time into extending it, making it really long, then I would just be happy with that. Uh, the whole open world thing. The reason why I'm not too fond of the idea is because it would just be a new concept to Halo, and I feel like it would be uh, really hard to pull it off, especially with 343 and their history. You know, to take that kind of risk probably wouldn't be a good idea for them. But who knows, maybe they'd be able to pull it off. Uh, in, in fact, uh, Halo 3 ODST kind of had a uh, open world sort of thing going on. It sort of had an open world kind of thing. I don't know. I guess technically you could call it that. And yeah, actually it totally did. Now that I think about it. But uh, I'm not sure if they would be able to rep. And Halo 3 ODST was pretty good. I actually enjoyed it a lot. Uh, you know, I'm not, But I'm not sure if they'd actually be able to replicate something like that. That would uh, probably be very difficult. Uh, story-wise, at least. I don't know, maybe maybe they could do something like that. Yeah, I use the turret again here. I couldn't save the, uh, the, uh, I guess the commander? I don't know, that one guy, he's all like, uh, short controlled bursts or whatever. <laughs> telling his, telling his guys. But then, like, he dies. And you can hear him just kind of, like, stop talking. So that's how you can tell that he dies. But, uh, oh well. Yeah, he's kind of hard to keep alive. Sometimes he just dies really quickly. And other times he just kind of stays there. <laughs> but, uh. Uh, yeah. When it comes to open world, if they could do something like Halo 3 ODST, that'd be fine. Uh, it, it would have to be just as entertaining, I suppose. Or, I, I guess, perhaps they should take the concept from Halo 3 ODST. I mean, you know, they can't really do the flashback thing. I, I don't know, maybe they can make it, make it work for story-wise, you know, for the story. But, uh, uh, you know. <laughs> but speaking of, speaking of that... Speaking of deriving ideas from other games, uh, or Combat Evolved specifically, people are saying, like, uh, Infinite will be, in, or Halo Combat Evolved will inspire uh, Infinite. And uh, I just kind of want 343 to be careful about that. Because I don't, I don't just want them going after whatever kicks that nostalgic feel or whatever i just want them to make a good game i don't i don't want to be playing the halo combat evolved basically 
in uh, 2019, I guess. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I died. It takes me about three tries for this one. This is the first, that was the first time I died. I had to change up my strategy. But uh, this is actually my favorite room, part of the level. And then this time I just go, whatever, screw it. And I end up killing three of them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't want them to to just be uh, like Halo Combat Evolved. I don't want to be going through the uh, very similar level design and whatnot. Uh, maybe maybe they could kind of explore forerunner structure or, uh, I guess, architecture, uh, different kinds of designs and whatnot uh, as an idea. And, you know, because Halo Combat Evolved, to be honest, was very bland when it came to design, and that's mostly because of, uh, uh, you know, the lack of, uh, the limiting amount of technology, so they couldn't really do too much, and yeah, I, uh, it's gonna be pretty much impossible to completely replicate the feel of Combat Evolved, simply because, uh, you know, Halo's been around for so long, uh, everything's pretty much going to be expected. I mean, what I'm referring to is specifically the reveal of the flood. Like, you know, we're we're going to we're we're pretty much going to know. We're most likely going to see that coming a mile away, unless somehow they uh, they can just work work it out pretty well. Here, I I thought I died because uh, I missed my punch there. He just kind of swung around and smacked me a little, but I surprisingly survived. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and and yeah. Speaking of gameplay, uh, I want I don't want bullet spongy enemies like in Halo Five and Halo Four. You know the Prometheans are just way too bullet spongy. Uh, you know, even on Legendary, I can feel like really cool Master Chief because here I'm. You know, his favorite weapon is the assault rifle, so I just equip that and run around with it. And you know, Master Chief's punches are just so OP. So you uh, you know it's possible to get in close with the uh, with the enemy, and I just really like that that fact about Halo Three. But uh, yeah, so I wish they could take the Promethean Knights out because the Promethean Knights are just too ridiculous. Uh, hunters hunters are okay, I guess. I mean, well, mm -hmm. the thing is is that hunters have gotten progressively harder over the years. Look, he turned uh, over the years, yeah. Uh, and every, and every new iteration of Halo, you know, they just give them more abilities or make them even faster. But that just doesn't really make any sense, because you know they're these big hulking beasts. Should they really be moving that fast, or do they actually have the capability of doing that? But in Combat Evolved, they didn't move that fast. Halo Three, they still don't move that fast, and you, you know, you still have a chance. But in Halo 4, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure. I haven't played Halo 4 in a while, so I actually don't remember. But in Halo 5, you know, they just make make the hunters ridiculously hard. They're pretty much bullet sponges. And, you know, in Halo 2, what I liked about Halo 2 is, you know, you just needed a sniper shot to the back in order to kill them. In Halo 3, uh, I haven't been able to actually take a sniper rifle to a hunter fight, surprisingly. But, uh, you know, uh, they're these basically these big, moving, hulking beasts are slow. They're slow is the main thing. And the fact that they're slow actually gives you an advantage to the point where, you know, you could actually fight them and beat them. But in Halo 4, or in Halo 5 specifically, you know, they have these really long-range needles, needle attack that they can get you from far away. And so you can't you can't even be far away. You also can't even get in close because they move extremely fast, like lightning speed, uh, which is just ridiculous. And okay, yeah. So this part of the this part of the mission, just for whatever reason, gives me so much trouble, and I just keep dying over and over and over again, as uh, shown here. And you know th that's what I was talking about—the spiker being unfair. Because it literally kills you in 
uh, three, four hits, I think, or uh, something like that. Now, I included this clip. Uh, this was not a successful clip, but I included it because, you know, I just go through tons and tons of enemies. It's really intense, really cool. But but then I, I just restarted because I see the Marine died over there. I actually try to keep my Marines alive, so, I, you know, I just try to do that. And I actually make it this far, but I still don't get a checkpoint. And, uh, yeah, I just get shot from far away. Yeah, I accidentally killed a Marine. And, and what I like about the enemies of Halo 3, especially, is because the brutes are very, they, you know, they're very realistic in a sense. And look, yeah, the gravity lift was giving me trouble here because I picked it up a long time ago and I never got rid of it. And so that was my attempt trying to retrieve uh, another piece of equipment. But, you know, I, for whatever reason, I just kept forgetting about the piece of equipment and I should have just, you know, threw it out. Uh, when I was outside before I entered into the uh, entered into the barracks here But for whatever reason it never crossed my mind So I pretty much carry this stupid thing all the way to the end and I die a ton of times I don't even show all of my deaths This is just a compilation of some of the, some of my deaths But I literally uh, You know, I just had so many deaths. So I just got tired. I just got tired of uh, You know editing them all in so I just gave up uh, Trying to do that but uh, and I don't know. It, it was just kind of ridiculous because when I was practicing before I recorded this, I uh, you know I got through this section first time, first time through. But then all of a sudden, you know, I just can't do anything for whatever reason. I don't know. I guess maybe I I was just tired or I lost my edge or whatever. So it just gave me a a really hard time. But eventually, I get a checkpoint halfway through. Or no, I actually made it all the way to the end uh, with the uh, with the brute with the turret, but still, uh, I didn't get a checkpoint, so I ended up getting killed and starting over. Here, I finally get a checkpoint though. But anyways, I wanted to talk about the brutes. Uh, uh, they uh, they react in a realistic way. They flinch, basically, is what I mean. And you know, this was something this was a mechanic in like uh halo combat evolved too where they flinch and they kind of took it out in halo 4 i mean not halo 4 halo reach the the elites they didn't really flinch anymore or they were extremely fast but they actually slowed down the brutes a lot so or in halo 3 who actually no from uh even in well yeah in halo halo 2 they hit really fast but in Halo 3, you know, you can actually see their punches coming and you can use that as an advantage, basically. And that actually makes the game really fun. And here, uh, right here in the part of the gameplay, I was just trying to push up, see if uh, my guys would actually push up. Uh, and Arbiter eventually pushed up and I was just able to use that to my advantage, which was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, they were... Uh, I really like this part of the campaign, or this part of the level. It, it's extremely challenging, but it's also extremely fun, even though it took me forever to get past this, and I was super mad about the idea, or the fact, that it took me so many tries, even though the first time when I was practicing it, uh, it, only, it only took me one try. I went through it uh, without a problem. And, uh, yeah, I saved all the Marines, too. There's about five Marines. I mean, five Marines is all I've ever gotten, so I'm assuming that's all of them. But, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that's all of the Marines. So I'm just going to say, yeah, I saved all the Marines. But I don't know if there's more of them, but five is the greatest number I've ever gotten. So what I usually like to do here is just have two SMGs, one assault rifle, and two battle rifles for this next part. Makes it a whole lot easier. And then, you know, I just grab a pistol in my assault rifle and so what I mean by uh, the enemies flinching or whatever it, it just makes the game a whole lot easier it makes the game a whole lot realistic you know uh, 
it makes it makes you feel powerful when you see that your attacks are actually doing something to the enemy you know what i mean uh whatever okay yeah but it makes you feel powerful like you know you see arbiter he's getting hit back he's getting he's actually getting pushed back by my attacks you know it makes you feel powerful knowing that what you do actually has an impact uh in halo 3 compared to in you know halo 5 um uh all they i i guess in place of the uh in place of the uh uh the flinching they have that hit detection crap which uh i don't actually necessarily mind but at the same time you know the enemies just don't really flinch uh you know you shoot them enough and then their armor pops off and then you can finish them off with a headshot that kind of sucks because uh, yeah they, you know they just don't flinch you just put enough bullets into them and eventually they die and uh i mean well in all honesty they do flinch but they don't flinch as much to the point where you actually feel like you're having an impact on them uh there are ways and in actuality, now that I think about it, in Halo 5, Halo 5's gameplay is not that bad, like in Halo 4 or in Halo Reach. Uh, Halo Reach, they just kind of take out the flinching ax aspect. The enemies, they kill you in one punch and they move super fast and whatever. Halo 5 is actually pretty bad when it comes to difficulty because uh, they kill you pretty quickly. But it kind of balances it out since you have your uh, your squad but at the same time I just hope uh, you know your squad is fine the idea was okay but I actually want to see more marines in uh, the campaigns and that's also what I really like about Halo 3 the fact that I could keep my marines alive for so long and just have them uh, follow me around and actually help me and you know they're actually a lot of help in this in this part of uh, the, this part of the mission, there, throwing grenades and actually getting headshots, popping off their armor and and everything. I barely have to do anything, except for when this part happens. Of course, I almost get killed. I'm surprised I didn't die. But uh, yeah, and they finished that brute off. I'm pretty sure one of the Marines got killed, but uh, I couldn't find his body. But I only counted four of them, so I'm pretty sure I one of them ended up dying. But oh well. And, uh, so in Halo 5, uh, really the anim the Prometheans especially are pretty bullet spongy. Uh, the Covenant is still kind of, was still kind of fun to fight. But, you know, the level design, or not necessarily the level design, just the story was very bland. Uh, and very short. The campaign was very short. Uh, it was extremely difficult because, like I said, you, your enemies pretty much killed you in one hit, in one punch. And, uh, you know, you died. You went down in very few hits. But at the same time, the squad that you had kind of balanced it out a little bit. But still, you know, you should, you yourself should have the ability to feel like a a uh, really cool super soldier like in Halo 3, you know, even on Legendary. Legendary should be a challenge, but it shouldn't just be an irritating obstacle. It shouldn't be impossible or, you know, it, it should feel like an accomplishment. But uh, in, in many games where they mess up on their harder difficulties is the tediousness, the, the fact that instead of, uh, instead of actually making the game, you know, slightly more challenging, or, uh, they, uh, all they do is increase the health of the enemies, increase the amount of damage they do, and increase the accuracy that they have, and, uh, and, uh, so it, it comes to a certain point where you're just basically hiding, you're cowering away from your enemies because they're so strong, and, uh, you can't do anything to them and it, it everything just becomes really tedious to kill everybody or to kill everything <coughs> I'm, I'm actually referring to gears of war in all honesty 
because uh, your enemies they they just get you know they're so difficult they're so tedious to kill you just have to hide and run away and hopefully they don't find you and uh you know just take pot shots at them you don't feel like a really cool super soldier and uh like you're supposed to but uh but uh and on Halo 3 legendary uh with with a certain amount of skill you can feel like that really cool super soldier master chief is supposed to be just a really cool super soldier even on legendary difficulty and and in all honestly legendary difficulty just kind of gives uh more realism to the game uh because mainly it affects your uh your allies how quickly they can die as well but uh and and you know that kind of sucks the fact that the marines have more health than you well i don't know maybe maybe it's a little more fair uh to i guess just to give you more of a challenge but uh at the same time kind of help you because uh where would you be without the marines sometimes being cannon fodder for you i guess or being that meat shield for you. No, I'm just kidding. I generally don't use Marines as meat shields. Because I don't have to. Because Halo 3 Legendary is actually pretty fair. I actually die a few times here. And it made me mad. Because I got. Uh, again I got through this part. Uh, first time through. When I practiced. And then it was just giving me trouble afterwards. Hello. Hey father, I'm uh, doing a recording, just letting you know, I said I'm doing a recording. from Halo Infinite. I just hope uh, you'll have an opportunity to just feel powerful, I guess, to throw those elements or throw those kinds of level designs or factors from games like Halo 3 or I guess even Combat Evolved to just make you feel like that really cool super soldier. Like, uh, and I rate... Uh, I, I rate video games based on their hardest difficulty, the greatest challenge that they could give. Legendary should be fun. It, it should be challenging, but it shouldn't be tedious. When when your game is just so difficult to the point where it's just tedious, it's not fun anymore. It's boring. But Halo 3 Legendary has always been fun for me. Because even on Legendary... Uh, with the effects, with the flinching, with the fact that uh, your enemies don't just overpower you, the fact that you can get up close and personal, even with the brutes, it, uh, you know, it, it's challenging, but at the same time, you can feel powerful, which, which is great. Uh, all games should do this, and, uh, you know, the impossible difficulty on any game uh, is just kind of stupid. Because it pretty much just takes all the sucks all the fun away from the game. Almost when a game reaches that level of difficulty of that of level of absurdity. Uh, yeah, I mean, just you don't have to do that. Uh, nobody's gonna play. Pretty much nobody's gonna play that except for uh, people who are really hardcore about that. Basically, I guess, and. Uh, and I totally am, but at the same time, uh, you know, I really like those kinds of uh, really challenging games, but at the same time, it shouldn't be so hard it's boring, basically. So hard it's tedious, it's frustrating, I get no joy out of the game, it's just straight up boring. Uh, you know, it really just should not be like that. Uh... I don't know, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say for now. I'm not sure if I've made too much sense since I'm just kind of saying whatever, not really following a specific script.
uh, from Halo Infinite, I just hope. Uh, I just, uh, I just hope that they will kind of derive ideas. Uh, I hope they don't forget about the hardcore fan base. I suppose, you know, when they're considering difficulties easy, normal, heroic, and legendary, uh, they'll consider that legendary factor. They'll consider, uh, they'll consider that because. I mean, who who plays Halo nowadays and doesn't play on Legendary? At least, you know, at least once. You know? It it, it should be fun. It shouldn't be uh, boring. It shouldn't be tedious or difficult. They, they need to bug test it. They need to make sure it's fair, even though it's on Legendary. They need to make sure it's fun and not uh, uh, blowing your brains out stupidly hard. And uh, yeah, and for for that kind of idea, they should definitely look at Halo Three, or even Combat Evolved, or Halo Three ODST. You know, in Halo Three ODST on Legendary, you actually had as an ODST, you have more health than Master Chief, which is kind of ridiculous. But uh, maybe it's just kind of game balancing. I don't know, since since you don't really have an energy shield and your health kind of diminishes over time. But, uh, but, you know, other than that, Halo 3, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, even on Legendary, they're really fun, and, and, uh, I really hope, uh, uh, 343 will look back at these games, Halo 3, Combat Evolved, uh, take the good from it, take the bad from it, and I hope it's not like Halo 4, uh, with the tedious Prometheans. And uh, I hope it's more fair than Halo 5, despite, uh, I don't know, I mean, the the companion system or the, uh, the squad system where you have to get revived doesn't really make sense. Uh, I'm not sure if that is actually canon. Did they do that in canon? I, I don't know. That it wouldn't make sense if they did. Did I actually die in this part? This grunt sticks me right before I punch him. And it just kind of has like this awkward... Uh, you just kind of like looking at Cortana very awkwardly for the checkpoint, which is kind of funny, <sighs> but whatever. But, uh, yeah, I just want, I just want Halo Infinite to be fun, to be fair and challenging, uh, at the same time on Legendary specifically, uh, and you know these these good classic games not halo 4 not halo 5 even uh need to be inspiration and i just hope they don't really copy and paste because you know that'd be stupid i don't want to be playing the exact same kind of game as uh well i don't want to be playing the exact same game from halo 3 and combat well because those games are like yeah, I'm pretty sure Halo 3 came out in 2008, so Halo 3 is like a decade old. You know, I shouldn't be playing a game from 10 years ago anymore. You know, I should not like, what I mean by that is I should not like Halo 3, which was made 10 years ago, better than Halo 5, which was made like 3 years ago. Halo 5 should be better, is what I mean. But it's not. It's, uh, it's terrible compared to uh, Halo 3. Halo 3 is just fun, a lot more fun. And I love it. But, uh, Pick for 3 just, uh, hopefully needs to fix that. I just want Halo Infinite to be better than, uh, all the other Halos. They, I guess what I really want is the same concepts just improved upon. It can't just be carbon copied. It needs to be improved upon. It needs to be worth playing. Alright, well, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'll show you how I did here in the video. I had like, you know, like, uh, I completed it in about 54 minutes, I guess. But I, you know, cut down the, cut down the videos, uh, all my deaths, I guess, into a short little compilation. But, uh, I actually did better here. I got less melee kills this time around and less deaths. 
uh, in this gameplay than I did for my practice run. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye.